The Fluke 375 FC clamping meter. New ish with the FC update. Been on for a while without it. Anyways, we're gonna take a look at it and skip all the promotional fluke crap you see all over the YouTube. It's hard to see someone just handling the meter for what it is. I opened this yesterday. The only difference was there was a piece of plastic around this case within this box. Comes with uh, one of these, tells you to find the online manual. Comes with the safety guide in full print, however. Um, very nice spring tension. It's one of those tools that you buy and it just feels really good in the hands. Everyone knows what a nice, good tool feels like in the hands. It just feels right. Feels like you bought something nice. This gives me that feel. Anyways, let's take a closer look at it. So here we go. It's a simple dial on like all the flukes. Voltage. DC voltage. Alternating current, current amps, hertz, you know, all the regular jazz. I don't have an iFlex with this one because I really don't have a use for an iFlex. We're gonna check out the Flute Connect in a second. But anyways, this meter takes two AA batteries in the back. Turn that boy around. That back panel pops off, nice and simple. Comes with the batteries pre-installed. It's ready to go right out of the box. Yep. Inrush, lots of, there's a couple different settings in here we'll go through. But anyways, I'm gonna open up Fluke Connect and see how that looks. All right, so we got Fluke Connect here. Really easy, turn the meter on, plus press the Fluke Connect button, and as long as you have Bluetooth and the app open on your device, it is really nice. Oh, I didn't even notice that before. There's like a little graph, it's hard to see here, but it's graphing the zero voltage we got here. But if I change it to the DC, and the millivolts. Of course, all these meters do this. Here we got a similar setup to before. That was a simple test, plus a nice current test. Anyways, here we've got the plug-in on my workbench here, and we're gonna see how far this goes. I'm not sure exactly how this is gonna work, but pretty much line of sight. Let me call this 20 feet. Let's turn this puppy off. Oh, can I remember which one it was? It would be one of these three. Oh yeah, there was that one I picked. All right, so I wanted to do an even a longer distance one. With this is the Bluetooth Connect tool. Some of them do use Wi-Fi, but anyways, from there to right of the corner, this bench worked. But from by my flat screen in there to back where the panel was didn't work. So. It really is just meant for getting outside the arc flash zone. But this is not the best place to test it for that type of stuff. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, a little, little intermittent, all right. This is more of a Bluetooth test than anything, but it's still iPhone in a case. Very reasonable scenario in a work environment. Almost everyone has cases. All right, that's not that bad. But of course, that's just wood construction. No, no concrete, um, no steel enclosures or anything like that. So 
not the best, but it'll get you out of the arc flash zone, and that's all they ever advertise. And for uh, little inconvenient spots and stuff, this is going to be great. But no long-term, <laughs> long-term, excuse me. Yes, you can do long-term measurements, but long-distance measurements, sorry. But anyways, on to the next thing. All right. Too bad that freaking ballast in there buzzes, if you can hear that. Don't mind it. <sighs> anyways, got the meter here. We're going to be in DC amps, got the jaws on there. We're going to go to max mode. It's hooked up to where my starter comes off of my battery setup under my hood here. And we got Flute Connect open in here. So we're just gonna watch this, see what happens. We're just gonna go like that, and we're gonna start the vehicle. All right, same setup as before, about to start the car. First time around, I had the meter backwards, so it went on the minimum management, not on the maximum. So it should display the maximum of this start. Not too shabby, 473 amps to start this car. That'd be interesting to see what it is when it's cold because the engine's kind of warm right now. But anyways, for another day. Just playing with the meter a bit more, I was like, oh, how does it fit in pockets? How does it fit in my pockets, Marcessa? Standard car heart. It's in there nice and snug. Clamp, you could hypothetically clamp it here, but that would only work like, I don't know. I don't know, why. anyone who would want this meter would not be able to clamp it like that because most work environments are not with that, it just wouldn't work. I'm just being silly now. But anyways, I'm not sure what else to say about this. Um, it's, it's basic, but yet it's not at all. I mean, it has all your basic measurements. It is not complicated. I didn't have to read any instructions to do anything on it, to use any of the features. Um, the hold button is in an odd spot, I'd say, but someone will probably be able to tell me why it's there. I might realize why it's there once I actually use the hold feature. Who knows? Um, but other than that, it's a beautiful meter. The backlight is, this is something I struggle with on one of my clients, strictly multimeters, but this is a clamping meter. Um, the backlight is just beautifully white. Turn off black light, there you go. Hey, I can't get over the, just the build quality. I never realized Fluke was as much, and I guess, yes, this is a $550 Canadian, is what I paid for this after tax. And it was from Fluke Direct, it was .ca or .com, but it was the Canadian version. Anyway, so what's the American dollar right now? This would be like a $420, I can't only really math in my head, um, item. But I would say very worth it, and it's going to be, it's one of those lifetime investment tools, so. Yeah, I don't know. If you have any questions about it, uh, ask me, but it's a little bit of kind of hands-on look, but here, we'll take a quicker look around the meter a little bit, but other than that, have a good one. All right, bad timing, horrible light. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. Hopefully this is recording. Anyways, Fluke, 375 FC unboxing. Gotta use it for work tomorrow. Wanted to videotape this.
Oh, that's a nice spring tension. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice leads. Let's get into this pig. Why won't you turn on? Oh, it just takes a second. All right, cool. We're good to go.